Hello and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is very, very exciting. I'm going to be setting up my Hobonichi for next year, for 2024. I have the Yumi Kirigishi cover. It's the, it's like little things or something like that. Um, and I'm in love with this cover. I'm so happy that I was able to get my hands on it. This is my first ever Hope Nietzsche, and I am very excited. So I have some plans already for setting up this journal, so let's just get right into it. So inside, I've got like a plethora of things in it, but I'm just going to take them all out right now. And then I've got my little pencil board in here. I got the Love It Pandas one. This is what it looks like. So this currently has both of my books in here. I got the Avec this year. So I'm going to take out both of the books. So here is just my plain book. I already put the cover on cover because I wanted to, to protect my book. So let me show you what I have to decorate. I have a few things. I have this little car. It looks like a little bug. And I just got this from, there's this place called Scrap and they have, it's like an art thrift store almost. And they have a section where you can just fill up a bag full of random things. And this was one of the random things. And I thought this would be so cute to keep in my Hobonichi. Then this came with the cover. I was so happy these actually came with the cover so I could have a little pocket pal. It talks about the illustrator Yumi Kirikishi and it is so cute. I'm just so happy that they included this. Then this is a pocket pal from Pocket Journal Pam. I really miss her having these on her Etsy and I was so glad that I was able to grab one while they were still up. I want to be able to one day make something like this. I think it's really fun having little pocket pals with your Hobonichi. I was originally using this in a traveler's notebook before I got the Hobonichi, but now I'm transferring it over here because this is what I'm going to be using more frequently. Then this is from Hobonichi. This is the Love It Panda little tabs. And so I can use this in my Hobonichi, which I'm really excited for. Hopefully I'll remember to use them. And then these two came with the journal, the little life book card. I don't know what I'm going to do with this. And then the life is present, the little pamphlet for this year. I might just keep this in the back so I can hold on to it. Same with this too. Maybe I'll just keep these two together. So I'm going to slide these back here in this back pocket. And then I think the car... Oh, not in there. This one's a deep pocket. The car, I want it to be in a shallower pocket so I can see it. Um, but this Love It Panda one, it fits perfectly in this front pocket. So I think I want to keep it here. I think that's what it was made for. This pocket pal, I can put in the bigger pocket. I don't know where I put this to so it still stands out. So I definitely want this in the deeper pocket. No, I don't. Maybe if I stick it in here. Just have a little car sticking out. I don't mind that. Well, I'm just going to keep it like this for now. So this is the pockets all set up. Also, sorry about the lighting. This is just the best time I can do it and the lighting is pretty bright in the morning. So next step is to decorate the cover. I'm just going to do January to June right now and we'll have a setup video later for July and December. So I definitely want to keep some of this yellow and I want to keep like the words on here but I'm going to collage on it like a lot of people do in the journaling community. So let's pull out my collage stuff. Here's my collage bin. It has collage sheets and then it has I put some papers on top for this. Oh, I love this star paper. This is a paper book. I got it from a small bookshop and it has like letter papers, but it also has just some collage papers. And I think I'm going to rip out this star sheet. 
And I think that's all I'm going to take from this, to be honest. Then I have these from Courtney Diaz, which I love. And some, like, collage papers. I really love these stars in the corner. And I love these strips, so I might use some of this. Then we have the actual collage sheets, but we'll get back to those. I think I'm going to start these as the base and just glue these down. I'm just using an Elmer's glue stick. This matches up well with the corner. I'm so excited. This is my first Hobonichi and my first time collaging on one of these. Like, I feel like I'm, I finally feel like I'm like one of those journal YouTubers right now. Like, Collaging my Hobonichi. Okay, we got some star paper down. I'm really loving this right here. I think I'm going to cut out this shape and have this as a little cutout. So like I said, this is from Courtney Diaz. I will link her down below. Let me know down below if you're going to be using a Hobonichi this year. And if not, what system you're using or if you're just going to be in a regular journal. For me, I've always been in just regular journals. And so this is definitely very new to me. So we got this little guy. I don't know where I'm going to put it. Maybe up here. But I'm going to get some more of this collage paper. I love this flower one, so I'm going to cut this out. I'm going to rip this up. And just have little bits of this. And before the, I glue these down, I want to pull out some collage sheets. Let me just see if I can fix this lighting a little more. We'll try that. So here are my collage sheets. Let's see. Let's sort through these. Got this little ephemera bit that we could add. a giant pencil I'll consider that oh I love this guy from Susie Susie's tiny desk I have so many claw sheets cut out I love this guy I put a little version of this guy on my daily journal for this year and so I think I want to include one of those again. It's from Pocket Journal Pam. Got this little bear. Oh, a part of a cat. Maybe this pigeon. Oh, and I'll keep this car. Okay, I've got enough, I think. Here's some little ephemera bits. These are from Jenna Templeton, I think. So we got these that I could put down. Okay, so let's see what we actually want to put down. This, I think, is too big. I love this cat from Susie. I'm hoping this lighting isn't going to ruin this video. If it does, I'm going to be very sad. Maybe I keep it kind of simple. Oh, I could put the cloud guy up here. I just watched... McKenna's aka Baby Bo Peep on Instagram. I just watched her set up a video for hers. She was setting up for July through December, but I was watching her collage and I was very inspired. She completely filled up the page, but I kind of wanted to leave some of this yellow and like leave the titles and stuff. So we'll see. I want to put down this little bit. I like these little bits 
flying around and I might find some more paper to put down because I like them a lot. This I'm going to trim. So it looks like it's coming out of the page. I'm going to glue down the cat because I like the cat a lot. Okay, I'm going to look for more paper. I also have this. Oh, I like this blue in the corner here. I'm going to glue down the cloud guy. And I'm just going to go for these two. And then I might as well just go for the car, the crocodile car. Okay, and that's what I've got going for the cover right now. Oh, and I might do some washi tape, too. I've got this Sparkly MT washi tape. You can find it on their website. Put some here. And here. I like how it sparkles. I'm going to put some more, too. Just because I really like this sparkly effect. Then I have some cats from MT Washi Tape. This is kind of dirty at the end, so I'm gonna rip this off and start a new piece. Then I have my own washi tapes which I just created two new washi tapes. They're not up on my Etsy right now, but one day they might be up again. Currently, I'm just selling them in person. Let me know, though, if it is something that you'd want to see, and maybe I'll get it back up on my Etsy. Let's see. I'm going to use some of this purple. Some of the stars. And then I think that's the cover. I'm not quite sure how I feel about it yet. This is my first time doing something like this. I took a lot of inspiration from McKenna here on YouTube, but kind of still did it my own way at the same time. And yeah, I think it turned out okay. We'll see if I like stick with it. I probably will. So now it's time to set up the inside of this journal. Let me put away the extra ephemera. So I'm also going to be doing a video where I talk about how I'm going to be using my Hobonichi for this year. Like how I'm going to be using the yearly overview and the weeklies and the dailies. But for this one, I'm just going to be setting it up. I got these tabs from a little stationery shop called the Paper Herald. I think that they have an online shop now. And it's for the Jibun Techo by Kukuyo, but I'm gonna be using it on the Hobonichi Techo. And I think that they should fit close enough, but I was just so excited to find these because it could fit, like it could work well for the Hobonichi because it has all the, um, months and then it has a monthly and yearly tab and then i think this one is just i forgot what it was but it was just like notes or something it was something different oh 
and there's more tabs. Okay. These are what the tabs look like. Here it is if you want to look it up. But I'm going to be putting all these tabs in right now. Starting with my monthlies. Or starting with each month. One. Okay. Make sure I put these on well. Okay, I got the first one on. This is my first time putting on tabs, to be honest. Let's see how it looks. Ooh, that's gonna look so nice. Okay, let's go to the second month. These are kind of tricky to put on. Okay, and that's six because this is the Avec, so there's only six months in this, and it looks so cute. And then I'll put these tabs in my other one, my other book. I don't know if I'll do that now or if I'll wait till the next setup video. But then I also need to put the tabs for the yearly overview and the weeklies. I think this is yearly and this is monthly, so let's look. Put a little yearly tab. I'm just going to put them at the top. And then we're going to have them. Oh, then we have the monthlies and the weeklies. So I'm going to put this as the monthlies. And then I don't know what this one is, but I might just put it as the weeklies. Okay, and then I'm going to put this one as the weeklies. Okay, and now I've got tabs. Super exciting. I am actually loving how this journal is looking. I think it looks so cute, especially with the tabs on. The last thing I wanted to do was put in these monthly titles on, I think, my monthly pages. So now I can use my tab to just go right to the monthlies. But I was thinking of putting these in here somehow. That was my plan. But I don't really know where it'll fit now. I'm still going to cut it out and try it out. Okay, like I could put it on the sides. Would that be cute? There's also two extra months in the EVEC. They have December and July, which are not in this book. So I don't think I'm going to put the titles on those pages. But I think I'm going to glue these in. So I'm just going to cut these out first. These are from Courtney Diaz, by the way. Okay, I'm going to glue it in. Or I could put it over top here. But it's going to cover up one of the days and I won't like that. So I'm going to just do it on the side in the center. Okay, there we go. They're all glued in now. And, yeah. That's my setup for my Hobonichi 2024. This is the Cousin of Ek. I am so excited to be in this journal. I can't wait to start it. That's about it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. I'll link the creators down below that I featured in this video. We've got Susie's Tiny Desk here. Actually, a lot of Susie's Tiny Desk and also Courtney Diaz. But other than that, thank you so much for watching this video and I will see you in my next one. Bye.